the Premier at the end of a 4K run. <laughs> at least there'd be one race this weekend he could be proud of. After Labor overnight won the Stafford by-election, 12,000 votes to wait. We know in Redcliffe we had the Driscoll factor. We know in Stafford we had the Campbell Newman factor. <laughs> Labor won Stafford with 50% of the primary vote. It recalibrated the seat from safely in LNP hands back to the way it was before the 2012 landslide. Last night's landslide was even bigger. The Premier says we're missing something. The, the issue is that Queenslanders uh, perhaps don't appreciate uh, exactly uh, the case that the state is starting to really move forward. In Stafford, they moved to Labor with an 18% swing, even bigger than Redcliffe. It only takes 5.7% for the Premier to lose his seat. That's terrifying news for every LNP MP, wondering if they're next to wave goodbye. But in the run-up to the election, no change of direction, no cabinet reshuffle, no rethink on asset sales. We understand that people want to see can do, and they will see can do from this government. For goodness sake, Premier... Wake up, smell the roses, people are not happy. The missing ingredient in Stafford was Clive Palmer. Some say his party could get a third of the vote. If Clive Palmer was serious, he would have put a candidate up in Stafford, and he didn't do that. For now, winners are grinners. Shane Doherty, Nine News.